After the crazy horseback antics of Argentina, Tim's next rucksack and rifle adventure has taken him to France for a walked up wild boar and the chance of a red stag. Can you imagine the weight? It's just half of it. And no, not that one. <laughs> Our hosts are Jean-Philippe Beugneuf, aka JP from France, and his fiancée Desiree Lance from Sweden. Both have hunting in their blood and they've promised to give Tim a fast and furious French hunting fest. Three weeks ago we're in Argentina, rushing after wild boar in the middle of the, the plains on horseback. Absolutely mad, mental, dangerous. And now we're in France, we're invited by JP. And we are doing two things. We are going to be hunting the red stags. Their, their rut has just started. And also we're doing some uh, boar hunting. Very often people think boar hunting is driven or it's from a high seat. We're doing walk and stalk boar hunting. Whilst it won't be perhaps quite as mad and dangerous as Argentina, I'm really hoping for some really, really fantastic hunting. Tim has yes, been here once before for a media event. JP has arranged, lodged and of course hunting to deliver top class corporate days for the shooting industry. And it must be good as they filmed Wild Boar Fever 44 here. No, that's a joke. Wild Boar Fever 7. So one thing they won't be short of is boar. For UK people, you do not, you do not have a lot of wild boar. You try to get some, but not a lot. And I think it's really good fun because uh, when the pheasant season is over by end of January, we can hunt uh, wild boar till end of March here, and it's really good fun. Walk and stalk, driven hunt, and for the lazy people, we can wait on the high seat uh, at night. For the lazy people. <laughs> also, you get a lot of uh, you get a lot of pleasure because sometimes, hopefully, we'll see that. You will get the wild boars, they come to you, they come very close and you are really in contact with the animal and that provides you a lot of emotion. That's the beauty of this place, boar on the doorstep. Well, five hours from Calais and it will bring out the inner asterisks and obliques in you. Our first outing is actually 20 kilometres down the road at JP's friend's place. Why go there? Why wouldn't you? It's quite a pile. The estate is a firm favourite for discerning rose stalkers. So you can offer the whole package? Yep. Beautiful place? Yeah. Good food? For the family, good hunting yeah. for most of the year. It's absolutely brilliant. And so you forgot good wine. Good wine. Yes, sorry, because in France you have we always have good wine. Some... Not a bad pad to retire to after a hard day on the bucks. Gregoire owns it and will guide us this evening. We know he's also keen to show us his pride and joy. It's warm in the late evening sunshine and the boar are unlikely to start moving for a bit. But, as we know, they do tend to congregate near food and Gregoire has a lot of duck to feed on his lake. So frighten all, uh, frighten all ducks, it's too close to Yes. It couldn't be simpler, you'd have thought, but no, our guide says no. He doesn't want the boom of Tim's Steyermanlika scaring the waterfowl. It would have been such a nice simple start, but maybe there's another reason for us to hold fire. Holding court on pasture above the lake is the biggest rack we have ever seen. Yes, 
Si un client tombe amoureux, bien évidemment qu'on ne va pas l'empêcher de le tirer. Et, et toi, tu vas pas... Comment Non, bah après, c'est la chasse, hein, je comprends. Si monsieur voulait le tirer, je lui aurais pas dit non, par exemple. Il a dit que si vous voulez le tirer, vous ne l'aurez pas dit non. Vraiment C'est juste un joke. C'est juste un joke. C'est juste un joke. C'est juste un joke. 10 000 euros. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Mais est-ce que c'est le plus grand stack dans l'area Uh, c'est le plus grand. Uh, oui, c'est le plus beau qu'on ait ici. Oui. It's on this estate, it is. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. On, a, on a des serres euh, qui, qui font 16 ou 18, mais qui sont bien plus jeunes, oui. qui n'ont que 4 ou 5 ans. Là, c'est le deuxième qu'on a vu. C'est un cerf qui a 3 ans, c'est une deuxième tête, mais oui. il porte 16 déjà. And the young one we saw, he's only 3 years old, mm -hmm. and he all, all already has 16 points. So he and he has a few other pretty nice deers, but uh, he's gonna. Wow. Let them get really big and old. He must be very, very proud of his, mm. of his deer stock, yeah? Uh, vous devez être très fier de votre... Uh, ah oui, uh, j'espère yeah. qu'il va bien reproduire, yeah. surtout. <laughs> he hopes that he's going to reproduce well. Ah, oh, <laughs> wow, it's brilliant. On l'a quand même entendu mettre un petit coup, mais... Uh, <laughs> We heard non, him call. Mais c'est vrai que c'est un bel animal. Oh, like the call was oh, yeah. really, really, really low, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The light is failing fast and we've spent too long with Stagzilla, so our boar efforts are over for one night. We've had the most wonderful day, seeing a huge variety of animals. Yeah, the amount of road deer around here is spectacular. And we see the reds, and we've seen, we've seen you know, quite a variety of boar as well, so it's, it's, well, it hasn't been a successful day from a hunting point of view. I think it just demonstrates the variety of, of game and quality game we have in this, this area of France, in the Salon area. So um, I think it's time for us to probably pack up and um, go and find something else over here which is very, very tasty, very, very of high quality and that's the wine. The following day, Tim is put through his paces on the driven boar target with both the Steyr Zeiss V8 combo and Desiree's new bow. We spend with my friends, with my partner, we spend a lot of time to, to educate people, to teach them, because if they are well equipped and well trained, they will be very efficient on the ground. You know, it's not like a running a roadie or hind like that. It's always the same level regarding the, the ground. So my opinion is easier from behind. You just cross it and you shoot when you are around the head or if it's very far away if you are at 100 meters you have my opinion you have to shoot one meters ahead so from behind you cross it and you shoot when you feel it's okay and you keep going if they are scared to shoot or they are if they don't uh, if they are not able to recognize the size of the wild boar they, are, they will not enjoy the day and the bottom line is not going to be a good deal for them and for me so we, we really take care of people because we can handle a small party starting with three four people we can make a drive for three four people till 12 to uh, 20 people so I mean we really take care for this evening stalk we are with JP and don't think this bountiful boar boudoir isn't a challenge the wind is changing all the time and these animals are not stupid The shot appeared good, but he's charged off into the thick stuff. Ignore the dot of the shot cam as it hasn't been adjusted for the rifle. The problem we got is gosh, it's quite thick over there and it's getting quite dark. And uh, what JP is suggesting we do is actually uh, we leave it because boards tend to keep on running all the time, so we're better off actually leaving it for 
maybe 15 minutes, half an hour, then go to it. But um, the uh, light's going to go by then. So I think he's just trying to see if he can find a dog for us. <clears throat> As a shooter, it's really frustrating because you just want to get in there and see where, see where the beast is. If it needs uh, dispatching, we can do it very quickly, but um, we can't do it in this, in this thick bracken and brush. So as a as a hunter, it's, it's your worst case scenario because it could well be just in there, dead. It felt like a good shot, but uh, obviously we've got to be a wee bit careful. We've got to just listen to uh, these experts. So it's a waiting game, which is uh, not easy if you're a hunter. We pick up the trail first light in the morning. JP and Desiree come prepared. She's brought her German wirehead pointers. They are not usually worked as tracking dogs, but they are today. Last night we had um, the light was dropping. We were looking for blood trails. We couldn't see anything, so we decided to uh, to bail out. But um, this morning is obvious. There's a blood trail here, so um, perhaps we could have pursued and, and and followed the beast. But the decision was not to, obviously, because of the failing light. So it's a good sign anyway. Hopefully we can um, keep this trail going. The dogs obviously picked up something as well, which is really encouraging. I think some blood down here. So anyway, fingers crossed. After 10 minutes, Marcus has earned his breakfast. For Tim, it's a massive relief. In the well done. <laughs> yeah, well done. Kind of that was brilliant. But when he was turning like this, that, yeah, because yeah. he's very clear when he finds something, he's mm. like a machine. But then he was turning, he's like, ah, oh, where is the angle? He was... And then he got here and was like, you have to trust the dog, so, so even an old boy can make it. <laughs> 30 meters he ran from uh, the place where you shot, yeah. but thanks to the dog below on the sick place, it would have been very hard to find it. Mm. If possible, I recommend and such an animal, if you Morph. can really... You can really eat for the shoulder, yeah. or even here. Yeah. Uh, you will, uh, you will put him down. And uh, but that is a very good shot, and the wild boar is there. Is not, is not a tester. No. It's a male of maybe uh, less than two years, but it's a male, and uh, we we did find it, and uh, and I can say just. Uh, Congratulations yeah, thank to you, you. <laughs> and a uh, good time. Thanks very yeah, much yeah. for this area and uh, yeah. thank you very much. Anyway, yeah, grab all this. Yeah, it's just one of those situations you have in the hunting sometimes. We took a shot last night, we couldn't find the beast. I was concerned, didn't have much of a sleep. I think, oh God, I've, I've, I've kind of made a mistake, wrong shot placement. Yeah, the shot reaction was okay, but we couldn't really see it on camera. And it's such a, a, a great feeling to, to the next morning is to get out there with the dogs and actually find it. Yes, it was a, a, a good shot. Um, perhaps with wild boar, uh, well, I must learn that I've got to keep you know, aiming further forward in the shoulder. I tend to be a bit of a deer hunter and just shoot just behind the <laughs> Aim further forward. I've just got to program myself to just naturally do that while not doing that. But yes, the, the thoughts were actually going through there and as you're finding the beast and seeing it there, I think, well, you know, it was, it ran 30 meters. It was a reasonably clean kill. So actually it's a, it's a, great, a great result, but you just go through that process of self doubt. Should I take the shot? I was getting, it was getting late in the day. I was tired, um, been a long day. And I was thinking, oh, perhaps I should have declined the shot. I took it on rightly or wrongly. And obviously it's, it's, I did the right thing in the end, but in this situation, perhaps, you know, a better shot placement, it would just dropped it. And when he gets right to the end of the day, having that deer or that ball running off is the worst case scenario. But uh, all in all, it's worked out brilliantly. Lovely 60 kilogram beast, or healthy beast, and everyone's happy. So uh, overall, it's great. So I'm, I'm really pleased. And also see a follow-up. 
you know, see the dogs work. They're not natural kind of bloodhounds, um, but they did their bit. They got slightly confused. They actually went through. We stopped and let them kind of settle a wee bit, and they persevered and, and they found it. So, uh, all in all, a really, really, it's a good way to start the day, perhaps. So, we're going to go back out there and hopefully find some more boar. For more information about Harkila clothing and kit, go to harkila.com. And for more information about Steyr Manlicher rifles, go to steyr-manlicher.com. <laughs>